All right, well, I'm going to try something here. I got this old uh, Peterbilt badge. This was off of my 379 that I had. And the red and the, like, the coating that was on top of it just wore right off. So it's just a embossed thing now. So I'm going to try to do something cool for my truck. I'm going to clean her up with some lacquer thinner here first. I'm going to take a little of the paint that I got left from, I painted the truck with. I'm going to put a little bit of hardener in it. I'm not going to reduce it at all. I'm sure by now you already know what's going on, what I'm planning on doing. Let's try it here. first time I've ever kind of done anything like this so bear with me here you know I can already say that if you're planning on doing this get like a little eyedropper or something whoop too much I'm surprised. I thought I was going to need a lot. A little bit is going a long way. Oops. I wish there was something I could do to make this paint a little thicker, actually. I don't know. It's hard to say how it's going to come out. You know, the thing with this pearl paint is it needs to go on evenly. I'm just kind of dumping it, so I don't know. You know, it, it's it's kind of a mix between if it's going to look cool or I'm just going to look hideous. I don't really know yet. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I'm thinking where I messed up right here, I could just scrape off with a razor blade once it dries. One thing I realized with stuff like this, like bondo or or anything like this is when you mess up just leave it alone leave it alone and let it dry because if you try to clean it up while it's wet you're just going to make a bigger mess and it never works well that's it all right well i have no idea what's going to happen here Unfortunately, it looks like I sprung a little bit of leak where that screw hole is. I don't know what I'm going to do. But like I said, I'm just going to let it dry. Even, it, you know, I see it's moving down in that hole. And I thought this paint was going to be thicker than this, but my bad. Um, I don't know. It's a disaster at this point, but let's let it dry. and uh, And we'll just see what happens here after it dries. All right, a couple minutes later, and <clears throat> I'm going to break the rule that I just told you. I'm going to touch it because I'm losing tons of paint out of this. That's probably a stupid idea putting the bolts in there. You know, I thought they they would seal better, but evidently not. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to tape these holes shut. Oh, yeah, I'm losing tons of paint. Shit. Well, I guess the reasoning that I put the bolts in there was I didn't want to drill the holes after it was painted, but 
I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Well. Alright. Well, she's all messed up now. <laughs> At this point, I don't know what the hell is going to happen. So, I'm going to put it out in the sun and let it bake for a while. And see what happens here. I could always pour another coat on it. Alright, another little project I'm going to be working on here is uh, these are the door panels, the inside door panels for the old Pete. Um, I have no idea what my plan is for these yet. I originally planned on uh, doing them with Luan and then putting upholstery over the top, but with the price of lumber nowadays, right now, um, it probably costs about $5,000 just to do the two doors, so these are the original ones off the truck. They're aluminum. I primered them about five, six years ago, kind of when I did the doors, like I was saying. Um, so I think what my plan is for now is I don't have many colors to work with, but I'm going to use this color. If you watched my hood ornament video making the hood ornament for that truck this is the color I used for that um, like I said I you know I don't have much paint left that I used for the truck itself so I don't really want to waste I don't want to keep that for like touch up and stuff you know again this whole project is on a budget a pretty strict budget actually um, so who cares? If I don't like it, I could paint over it. So I think I'm going to base coat the door panels with this color here. This is, uh, let's see, um, red mahogany. Not my first choice, but it's free. <laughs> I had all this paint left over from paint jobs previously. Um, so I'll base coat the doors in this, and then we'll see if we could airbrush something cool on it or do some graphics or something. I don't know yet. No. all right so i think i have an idea on what i'm going to do on the uh, door panels i printed these peterbilt emblems out on uh regular paper here <clears throat> i got a few of them um i'm gonna make some stencils cut the stencils out with a razor blade and uh i'm gonna do something cool it's been a long time since I've airbrushed, but I'm going to do something cool on those door panels with the Peterbilt logo. I'm thinking about airbrushing the logo on and then doing like lightning or something around it. Um, but again, that all depends on what colors I have to work on, work with. So I'm going to have to make a few of these stencils. One of them's going to just be like an oval. The other one's going to be with the letters cut out and then the other one's going to be the inside cut out i believe um because in order to paint it and detail and everything you need a few different stencils one to cover up different areas so i'm going to go ahead and cut a few of these out i got a piece of cardboard here to put them on top of when i cut them so i don't destroy the table so we'll cut these out and then see what happens from there
All right, well, I wanted to do something a little different here. Um, I did the plastic bag effect thing there, kind of like with the marble, whatever you call it. Um, it's been a long time since I've, it's probably been 15 years since I've touched an airbrush. So, um, I used to airbrush a lot with my father when I was younger, but I <clears throat> just never really um, had enough interest to do it all the time, I guess. Um, anyway, it looks pretty cool, I guess. I'm not really super happy with the way this came out. It kind of looks like crap, but oh well. You know what? I guess, uh, you know, I, I could take this and have a professional do it. Or I could do it myself, have it look kind of crappy. But in the end, I can say that I did it myself. So, I don't know. Well, I guess six in one hand, half a dozen the other. Um, you know, I'd really like to paint something here. Uh, I actually would, would like to paint the dual truck here. But I'm not that skilled and I'm not really going to try it yet. I'm going to go ahead and clear these. Down the road, if I get better, I could always paint something on it. But uh, I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now. This color here I painted over the silver is the color I painted the truck with. <clears throat> so now let's get them cleared and see what they look like. I think they'll look a lot better once it's cleared. So we'll do that. Alright, well here they are all cleared. I think they came out pretty good, actually. That looks really cool. I think this stripe here came out the best. This was the first one I did. But, I don't know, it's, like I said, it's been a long time since I've done stuff like this, so... Um, you know, it's kind of a learning thing all over again. But... Um, you know, as you can tell, this is, this is the first one I did. You know, it didn't come out 100% perfect. I messed up a couple times. You know, and then this is the second one I did. As you can tell, it's a lot more, um, you know, crisp or whatever I'm trying to say. And that one there looks a lot better, I think. So... This is the driver's side one. My, my figuring was I'd want to make the driver's side one look better because that was the, uh, you know, that's the one you're going to see most of the time versus the passenger side. So I, I did this one first. This was a practice one. So, um, oh yeah. And uh, so here's the Peterbilt emblem that I was working on. That came out really good. Try to get over here in the sun so you can see a good color. But that, that's the same color that I painted the truck with. Um, I got some stuff on uh, letters here like you've seen in the video. But what I did is I just took 1500 grit uh, sandpaper and I wet sanded it. And it only took like 5 minutes and it, it made these letters really nice and crisp. And I just laid it on the table when I cleared the um, door panels. And I just buried it, you know, I just ran the clear right on it. So it's nice and thick now, you know, you could barely feel the letters. So I'm not sure where this is going to go yet. I want to put it on the grill. I really want to put it right here. Um, but I'm not sure how I'm going to attach it. Because it really looks awesome there. And that's where it really needs to go. But on these old Peterbilts, um, this is actually part of the radiator. So I'm not just going to drill into that and put bolts in there because <laughs> I can't afford to mess that up. Um, I'm thinking about trying to find some uh, two-sided tape or um, 
some kind of two-part epoxy I could glue this to it with. Um, that'll take the heat of that. Um, there's supposed to be a trim piece that goes on here. Um, as you can see, screws are all busted off. And then the holes are stripped on the two that... And um, <laughs> I don't have the balls to try to drill that out because I don't even want to think about how much this radiator I mean it, it probably wouldn't be a big deal I could probably just plug it with something or or weld it or take it to a place in aluminum weld it if I messed it up but I I really just don't want to take the chance um so you know what I'm just gonna leave it alone some things are better left alone so I just put that on there somehow probably eventually I'll paint that like tape this off and paint it black so it don't look so ugly um you know, or whatever, I don't know, you know, it, it, this is, most of this stuff is just a spur of the moment thing on these trucks. You never, I never really have a plan, I just kind of do it when I feel like it. Yeah, these look pretty good in the sun. I think it came out alright for an amateur job. So, I'm going to go ahead and put one of these on so, uh, so we can see what it looks like on the door. Got my rag there because I haven't got my door checks. Where I have them in yet, but I'm not going to put them on. I'll explain that in a second. Um, let's throw this on and see what it looks like. Yeah, well, there it is. Man, I think that looks pretty cool. I guess the sun isn't really in the exact right spot, but I think that looks sweet, man. That looks pretty cool on there, so. I'm pretty happy with it. That looks a lot better than it did uh, <laughs> before I did anything. So, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so the door checks... The door stops, they go right here, they're just straps, they go on this and this. Well, I can't put those on until I put these on. I can't put these on permanent until I get my, uh, I did order my track that goes in here, my felts. I ordered them from Cortland Truck Works, they specialize in these old peats. Um, and those aren't in yet, so, um, that's gonna be a different video. But when those come in, uh, we'll put them in, we'll put the glass in, we'll put the panels on for good, and we'll put the door checks on. And I pulled out this back window. That glass is getting cut as we speak. We'll do that one too. So that'll be in the next video because I'm not sure when all this stuff is going to be in. Probably in another week or so. So um, I'm going to end this video here for now. So we'll catch up in that one um, when we put the glass in and uh, we'll, we'll get a little further on this thing. So thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.